Hello everyone, my name is LP, I'm a modder for Portal 2, I'm currently working on a mod for Portal 2 called um, Ab uh, Portal Stories Mel. Um, today I'll be playing through a bunch of test chambers, and this is one of them. Um, I don't know what this is called, but it's probably very cool. Uh, whoa, holy, holy guacamole. Um, someone wanted me to get a plastic or something? Holy banana, what is going on here? This is completely weird, and I honestly hate it. Just call it, come on. This is far from even remotely normal. Maybe you hate normal, I don't know. One there. I'd have a button with one there. Okay, I get it now. I have to do this. And then I'll have to not fail. Here. So there and spend every That should be really cute. Like a ball. Close enough. Anyways, um, Full process, process, yes, this time with a ball in my hand. Here, stop. Ah, come on. I don't want that. Yeah, I didn't. I'm not a fan of it. What is wrong with my left mouse? And what's wrong with physics? Who broke physics? Did something and cross. Problem is, I have no idea where either of these symbols are. Um. very wrong with this brush here. It appears to be different. I suppose it's a vertex sector, but I'm not sure. And I'm still do I don't still don't see how I'm going to be able to go there. Like you really have to interest me. That's very helpful somehow. I'm just gonna leave that over there. Yes. What? No, 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 no. What's also very confusing is that there's a dot over there, and over there, and once again over there and there. Hi. I'm gonna quick save here. Who's there? Okay, yeah, that's. That's also generally a way to break a level to walk on last and lighters. And I have some friends who are very good. Let me with that. <clears throat> They're very good to test today. This specific way. So, what does this do? Not much. 
I was kind of in. Uh, I can. What? No. Come on. No, 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 no. That one is timed for some reason. I don't know why it would be, but it currently is. Yeah, activating your mom. What is. Okay, well, I have one. <sighs> Why am I playing workshop maps again? Ugh. Okay, so we have a small piece of there. Wait a bit. Why is that? We're just holding this edge again. Yeah, search my with your mom. I want to portal of it there. Sleep mode activated. Perfect. Oh, I'm doing I can't go back. I have to drop it in there and I have to be lucky that it actually lands in there. Make sure if you do something like that, yes, you 100% get the thing in there. Don't use funkly fee visits or anything to make sure that it doesn't bounce out or anything. Like that, that's better. Now, I have no idea what that did. Great. I'm going to go to cheat mode, and I'm going to get no target. I'm going to come over. Is anyone there? See what this actually did. If you don't mind, I have it deactivated. Yes, Perfect. How could I come over here? Pause another fucking bunch of targets. Very scary music. I never heard this, but. Okay, I have no idea. How I can't get past these flipping bastards, can I? All kinds of stuff here. Gazillion That's a problem. There is no indication of what is what. Um, I want to go through here and seeing that. Um... Yeah, I. Do that as a trait, but it's bloody, bloody annoying. Like, hey, you can jump over here, and then you're like, no. There's a probably a trigger here, isn't there? Um. Oh, there yeah, there's a trigger there. That was exactly what I was expecting. Our port here. This is obviously, by the way, the PTI um, place. Now I have to find a way to get rid of these. There's no way I can. Or do I have to bowl one of them? So the next step must be something with <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. Um, so now we have the pool over there, that's very good. Now we can go over here. I'm not looking for a good No, come on. This is complete. Portal 2 is supposed to be a puzzle game where you have a few elements and you have to solve a puzzle with them. This is not a you run and see a of a room of four deadly turrets and you try to mesh a button. That's one level in Portal 1 that's meant as a joke.
uh, it's not something that's fun to play. <laughs> This does something. I don't know what it does, but it's keep me over here, right? Because there's no way you can get past all those. Indeed, it is. And that's kind of a constant problem to um, Yeah, like, there are a lot of things. But. Okay, so what I assume would be the solution is to portal over there and that, uh, and press that button the first time around. Or something I really don't know. And also tools in the process. And then I don't know. And somewhere over there. I have where am I? Are you serious? Okay. And wait. So I need to see where am I? Well, wait, I remember where wait. intended. The first thing in the whole fucking level I saw in, in, in the intended way. Yeah, this, this is the kind of stuff I like before, where you have to do reasonable things. What? Okay. You know, this is some reflex where it's really not too bad. Possible and it's not possible with timing. This is fine, except for the fact that I die constantly. So you might want to adjust that slightly. Um, it's stacked as custom visual, and so you have some some things here. So you might want to change something with trigger catapults um, settings. Um, where you disable air control. That is the intended solution. That's just again. That's the intended solution. I have some trouble. Gimbal, symbol, symbol. 
explain to me why is it not possible to get indicator eyes between there and there? Oh wait, because it's exactly the same symbol, but it does something completely different. That's what I call some fucking fusing. Yeah, you I'm gonna go in the loop. There's like a clicking. Ah, that's okay. What is it actually taking? Okay. So let's just grab the fucking gear because the gears are done with the freaking lasers. Another problem here is that there is no indication whatsoever where you want to go. Um, I'd say one of the most important things in Portal is to show the players where they are, where they have to go, why they have to go there. Um, Like in every belt map you see, and people at belt know what they're doing. They kind of make their own stuff. Um, you in every map you see that um, they at least give you an indication of where the exit is. percent of the chamber but it was frustrating as hell because there are only symbols and they're everywhere everywhere the same um sorry for no clipping through the entire level but it's unplayable in its current state you really 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 need to reconsider if you design things um make sure that it's logical um you can see what's going on that's really important and um yeah it's I'm not here. I'm, I'm not doing this to criticize your mapping. Um, I'm trying to do this to help you create better maps in the future, and I think um, your maps can greatly profit from more indicator indications and actually showing the player what's going on. Uh, because right now it was a mixture of random chambers, and there were some common elements. There were a lot of lasers and cubes. And way too much buttons. Um, I can see if I have the map. Um, let me show you a map I've been working on. Um, sorry, this doesn't work. Um, let's see. Let me do, uh, um, 
this is a map I've been working on for um, my mod. And, um, I had a bunch of people who test this, including some very good map makers. Um, this is not the fi final state, it's work in progress, but, um, as you can see, the, the room is very clear, very open. Um, the moment you come out of this room, you know, hey, there's an exit sign, there's an arrow there, so here be the exit. This is where you have to go to. This is where you work for. How am I going to get over there? And then you step on this button, and you have indicators running directly to the fizzler, so you know, before even stepping onto it, um, it's presumed the fizzler. And at the same time, if I didn't, if I wouldn't have put the, the thingies, the indicator lights, that would also be fine, because I can see directly what's going on. It makes noise, it's animating, and you can obviously see that. For here, there's a long indicator light. And you can also, from here, see what's going on. But I, once again, chose to put the indicator lights just to make it slightly more um, visible for the player. And over here, you see indicator lights running up. And this is making a lot of noise. Hey, something's going on there. And um, it will focus your attention here. And yeah, for some reason, um, the indicator lights. So over here, we have a cube drop, and we already have the indications here that it's about a cube drop. However, once again. You have indicator lights running, so you know, hey, it's for that indicator, that, that dropper, that's awesome. Now let's just no clip, I don't want to spoil the entire uh, level, uh, well not the entire puzzle. Once again, here I chose not to put indicator lights. Why not? Because it would be a complete mess. So, in this case, you arrive from this direction, you press this button, and the first thing you see is you see the cube fall down. So here, um, we have um, this construction here, where we have this button here, and as you can see, it goes into this wall, so something will happen here, and it also goes to this fizzler, so something will also happen here. So um, I, I chose specifically to put the indicator lights this way around, and not uh, like coming from over here because that could confuse with the button and so you can use indicator lights to guide a player um, and you have a lot of people that are the same everywhere and that's absolutely not helping the player and you might think well hey your level is freaking small and not hard but um, playtest showed that uh, the average time a player uh, solves this map is about 20 to 25 minutes. So it's a clever design, clever puzzle, um, in a very simple chamber. There are one, two, three, uh, four floor buttons and two normal buttons, and still a lot of players spend 20 minutes on it. And I don't know if you've ever played any of the maps by the guy called Nevius. He's a great map maker, and most of his maps are extremely simple in design, but have a very tricky solution. And um, that's much better than have one big maze with a gazillion things going on, and indicator lights going all over the place. Um, here you have time to solve a puzzle, and over there it's like... You have to find the puzzle and then solve it. And um, this is a map on also. Uh, this is an older version of the map, but um, this is also a work in progress map. Uh, um, Once again, it's heavy work in progress. Life is crap. Um, but once again, over here. Um, we have a button over here, and you immediately see Hey! And you can look all the way over there, and then you follow those indicator lights with your eyes, and you're like, Hey! That's the exit of the fizzler! Hooray! And you're like, Hey, how am I going to get 
it's fun a lot. Mm. Oh wait, there is a button if I follow these indicator lights over here. And hooray, it does indeed make the funnel. And a lot of people have well, one of the things people barely notice um, barely look up. But once again, here we have those indicator lights. And um, if you go over to there, um, you will notice but that's not a problem. Um, you will notice here that the hair is pretty strange. It's like you go first from the wall, you could have also just put it all along the wall and made it easier. Uh, yes, that is true, but I chose here to make the indicator lights um, run up the wall and have more exposure. So if the player is standing over here, they will notice the indicator lights over there. And they're like, hey, where are those indicator lights going to? And then they're like, hey, they go to this cube dropper. And um, in the later version, I actually moved the cube dropper and changed a bit of the geometry here to make the cube dropper even more visible from the room itself. So players can see um, the cube dropper, players can see the indicator lights, and they can think, well, hey, there's a button over there, I should go press that. And they are. Most, most players won't um, consciously notice that, but it really helps steer people into the right direction and um, yeah, putting like uh, squares and slashes and stuff everywhere and having literally like a square and square next to each other. In this case, in your case, it was slash and slash was next to each other but it wasn't activated, that's not logical. Try, if you're making a map, try to put things in line of sight with each other, and if that's not possible, try using indicator lights to try to use anything to um, make it visible for the player. Uh, you don't want to guess what's going, what's happening, you want to know what's happening, you want to do something with that knowledge, you want to solve a puzzle with that knowledge. Um, so yeah, um, I hope, I sincerely hope, this video was informative and not only me spitting uh, a lot of frustration, but your map would really, really be much better if it was not full of symbols and no one knows what they do. So yeah, um, I hope you take that into consideration and um, I'll see you next time.